The Moment of Truth with Kurt Wells. One of the most basic things we bow hunters do is walk through the woods, and it's surprising how many bow hunters have failed to master this elementary skill. The goal is to move quietly and undetected, and that starts with appropriate camouflage that matches the terrain and quiet clothing that doesn't rustle against itself or against brush. Quiet pants are especially important. Match your footwear to the hunt. Boots with wide soles give you a larger footprint than a form-fitting sole. Softer soles are quieter, but some boots will squeak as you walk. Don't accept that. Change in soles or get different boots. Packs can be a source of squeaks and creaks as well, especially if you wear a leather belt. If you hear any noise, locate it and eliminate it. When walking, pay attention to the placement of each step. Avoid dry leaves, twigs, pine cones, crunchy gravel, loose rock, or shale. Carefully step down heel first, but then roll to the outside of your foot. Too many hunters fail to lift their boots high enough and end up scuffing them on the ground, creating a foreign noise that's alarming to game. Make sure your pants aren't so baggy the cuffs rustle against each other. Wear gaiters if necessary. Don't force your way through brush. Reach out and carefully move any vegetation that blocks your path. The exception is when whitetail hunting. Don't touch anything. In fact, walk with your arms held high above any brush a passing deer could sniff. Don't be in a hurry. Learn to walk slowly. Stop often and listen. The key is to see or hear game before it sees or hears you. Stop and study the terrain using binoculars to penetrate the woods. The sooner you see game, the better your chances of getting in bow range. I tell all the cameramen I hunt with, if I don't have to look back to see if they're keeping up, they fail the test. If I do have to look back to see if they're coming, they pass. Think about that.